it's difficult because every drawing sort of has its own character and own composition. And, and when we're working with the gradation, it's um, it, it sort of you have to alter your thinking from drawing to drawing. It's a good thing because it, it, it's sort of in keeping with um, Saul's idea of, of art sort of by democracy, that he has a lot of people working on the projects and that everyone has their own hand and that the sort of the collaboration of all the hands together is what he's, he wants. What we're trying to do is, you know, from the, the maquette that Saul created, he basically broke it down into a system going from zero to six, zero being white, six being black. On this particular drawing, it has no zero, but it goes from one is the lightest, and as you can see, six is black. So in the, in the dark areas, the lines, they get lost. You know, you can't really tell. But then as it works its way out, it sort of like unleashes, and you can see all the individual marks. Everybody has a little different way they work about it. Uh, but the main thing is to create a fairly even gradation. And what I like to do is just to keep moving so that I don't overwork one area and create you know, a big dark spot all of a sudden. Or even though we have these strings to separate the gradation, you know, a tendency sometimes is to stop right at the string. But kind of, it's more important to work through and just use those as a, just to pretend like they're not there, but use them as a, a guideline. Yeah. The focus that you need to uh, scribble is something that, that is developed as you go. It's like you're working out a muscle. This is, a, this is like an artist boot camp. If you want to you want to call it that your mind develops as you scribble to where it becomes your hand becomes intuitive and it's already going for the problem areas and uh, when, when you hit that level it, it really is a joy to scribble uh, but until you get there you're all frustrated and everything you know but it, it, as, as in boot camp you know you, you, you don't know where the ropes are when you first get into it and, and then once you your body starts getting stronger but once your art hand gets stronger you really uh, develop a confidence I definitely think that um, a project um, this scale is difficult physically, just because your attention and focus is so small, and so it's so repetitive, and you're in a very awkward position and situation all day <laughs> for four weeks. And that's hard, I think. It's really hard. I don't think that I have become comfortable enough in what laying a mark down on the wall does to the gradation. And so right now I am focusing constantly and trying not to get lost because I, I think I'm nervous about making a mistake. Physically, I mean, to, to just, you know, to keep scribbling is hard to do day in and day out. Um, but I find that even when, you know, when, when I'm not scribbling, I still sort of want to scribble. Is my hand is starting to move on its own, or I don't know. But um, I think that, that the longer you're working on it, sort of the easier it is to see, you know, what the finish thing is, or the finished drawing is going to be. So you can, um, it makes it a little bit easier mentally, but at the same time, it's always kind of running through. You know, always thinking about it. You know, it, it has a form. It has this, its own composition from one, you know, standing back from it, but then up close, it has a second level of line, and then even closer, you look at each line and uh, which way it's going, how dark it is, how sharp it is, and stuff like that. So there's all these little subtle nuances. Since you're doing it all day, it causes you to really pay more attention to it in a way, and the different kinds of scribbles and motions and marks and depth that you can get just from doing the same, more or less the same thing. This is just a joy and a pleasure. It's because it's uh, it's not anybody's work. It's not personalized. You don't you can't you can't claim something and say, oh, this is mine. I'm going to do it my way. You have to relax and let everybody work together on the thing. And uh, the interaction is wonderful. And drawing over someone else's scribbles is really enjoyable. You know? It's the combination of marks that makes everyone every every one of these drawings unique. You know? And in the process, whether or not I mess it up or somebody else messes it up. And there's sort of um, always the idea that you can, you can fix it, that you can always bring it back to the point where you need it to be. But I feel like, especially in this, you know, in this environment, that all of these drawings are going to be really tight. And uh, it's something that makes me proud, you know?